Okay, I know it's hard for you guys to hear me. I'm currently doing a five kilowatt load test right now on this inverter. This is a true five kilowatt test. We've got 21.7 amps on L1 and 20.31 on L2. So yeah, I would call that 5,000 watts. Right now I'm watching the temperature of the transformer, which is climbing. So if this continues up to 165, it's gonna shut down. The fans are maxed out right now. I have it set to 165 for safety, but I am gonna push it up to 170 and see what happens. If the temperature continues to climb, then we're gonna to have to reevaluate this transformer. This is just noise going on down here, but this this temperature sensor is on the transformer. This is five kilowatts, continuous. And that top number there looks very promising. It has not risen. It may still rise, but right now it's sort of stabilized. So that's the news that we want to hear. If it stays in that area there, then we know that this inverter will handle five kilowatts, continuous. But it may not be able to. That top number is looking really, really good. That right there, the fact that the temperature is falling tells me that the fans are able to keep up with the five kilowatt load. It's sort of dancing around right now. But it looks to be holding. That's the important part. I'm going to let this keep running. And I will report back in this video, the next video, a follow-up video. I will report back if this inverter survived one hour at a full five kilowatt load. That's one hour. And we're gonna look at the maximum temperatures. I will leave this running just like this so that you guys can see where the maximum temperatures ended up. But look at that, that number's falling. That means that the inverter is able to keep stable at 5,000 watts. And again, we do have 5,000 watts on this inverter. This, of course, is not 100% accurate. We've got 19 point whatever and 20.51. So let's just say between 4,800 and 5,000 watts, approximately. Anybody who's going to try to split hairs and say, well, it's not exactly 5,000 watts, whatever. That temperature is falling still. So that's a good sign. That's a real good sign. <laughs> the ambient temperature in this room is 79 degrees with 49% humidity. I am very, very happy about this. This is a 5,000 watt continuous load test right now. And it is maintaining a temperature on that transformer of 161 to 162 degrees. The fans are obviously maxed out, but it is working. Imagine a power jack 5,000 watt inverter trying to do this. It wouldn't stand a chance. That is a really, really good sign, and I am extremely happy right now. Wow. 
I'm extremely happy. It's hot. There's no doubt about it. It's hot. It's blowing out air. It's actually spewing more air out of here because this lid is like this only because this is a custom thing. This is as close to the simulation as I can possibly get. Because <clears throat> we have to raise this lid up in order to fit this lid fan over that large transformer. The final production won't have this gap or anything else. It'll have a custom lid that is approximately two to three centimeters taller to be able to fit that fan. <coughs> Look at that. That temperature is actually doing really, really well. I'm extremely happy with that. A lot of this that's going on down here, that's all the noise that we're having on the CPU cable. Sid has almost definitely fixed that problem. Again, this is pre-production stuff. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. I'm so happy, guys. I hope this video is a good indication to you of what this inverter will handle. 5,000 watts. I will report back and give you a full detailed video explanation afterwards after I'm done with my load testing. But so far, so good. <laughs>